All right, guys, so today is day one on the job site. Actually, day two. We got here yesterday and done a little early work, but this is the first official day on the job site. Um, what we got going on is the panels. We're going to put six up here, then the two turbines, then we're going to have six on the front of the structure. This is the customer solar panels. Um, these are 330-watt modules. Um, I don't know exactly the manufacturer of it because the label are not on it. They got a real good deal on these. Um, but um, these solar modules, like I said, they're 330s. And uh, we're going to be putting six each on each roof. So uh, it's going to be a really nice solar system. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. We got the conduits laid out. Um, I'm really getting hardcore about wanting everything to code and beyond. Like, I want it beyond expectations. So uh, what we've got here on the conduit, we're over 50 percentile clearance. So we're actually gonna be able to get the customers um, wind turbine drops. We're gonna get them a 30 amp in for the uh, their camper service. And then we're also gonna have two uh, runs of PV. We're gonna have one come up, stub up right here and go around up to that roof. Then one over here come up and stub around the side right there to that one. And you wanna walk on in here. Okay, so it's a little dark in here, but what we're gonna have is we're gonna have our um, two turbine uh, raw drops for the turbine. I'm gonna bring them in, stub them over the wall, kinda neat, as neat as possible, just like electrician done for the AC on the uh, magnums. We're gonna kinda come and wrap that and come over here and then we'll do our straight drops for the um, wind turbine and then that's going to come down we're going to have a lift up battery bank i'm going to custom fabricate the customer a battery box because i just thought it would look ridiculous with the the plastic ones shoved up here plus there's not clearance so since it's an internal uh, house set up um, with a v max we're going to do that um got the two magnums in place they're already hardwired electricians done come in took care of that part um, I'll pre, these are the RTG boards, or the off the grid boards, ready to go systems. Um, once we get the two by four behind there, then these will be secured solid. And we're gonna have a drop there, drop there, and a drop here. And that's pretty much got the foundation started. Um, we're gonna actually come into the structure on the other side of that wall, so we only gotta make one drill through, and then we'll bring all our wiring and everything over, and we're, we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, if you want to step up here and take a look, I'll uh, show you what we're about to get into. Um, we've got most of the conduit in place. We've got, because of so many bins, we've got actual junction box that's in there. And then from there, we divide out. Um, and that way we can stay with code. Um, and I'll get into that in a little while, show you when we're in there, final finish, either tonight or tomorrow. Um, but right now, as you can see right here, we've got our cables coming out for the wind power that's gonna go into the structure. And then that's gonna go actually in through the rafters and come out one at one side of the ridge cap, one at the other. Um, we've got our solar feed right here. You can see um, it's coming out the conduit. Then we're going to uh, EMT and then up to a weather head dropout. And over here, we're gonna have, where we come out of this, that's what I'm finishing up right now. We're gonna come over right here and then go right up and out to the corner right here real neatly. Uh, tucked behind the gutter and that's going to give the weather head up away from the washout and it's also going to put it right here to where we can put the panels because the more that we got to looking at the situation it's going to be a lot better for the customer to have the panels the back side that way he gets the whole east west combo of solar and not only that it kind of conceals the panels from prying eyes so i really like that a lot better and uh, we're also going to run them a water line out here too and uh, yeah that's where we're at with it so here in just a minute you'll see this solar array bolted up, and then we're gonna move this other side over here to the main house and bolt it up. And then... Okay guys, now at this point in the build, what we've got going on is we spaced out the solar array, um, half of it so that it will go over here, the other half over there as I mentioned earlier. Um, we're coming off the ridge cap here, um, enough space that we're gonna have two of the A-frame mounts for the turbines. One will go out at that end of the ridge cap, one at the other, and the electrical feed will come out directly up from it so there's no wire all over the place on the roof. Um, these panels right here will be almost to the weather head, so I can put some um, sleeve cover over that, and otherwise there won't be no wire exposed on the roof. 
um, also may come back and additionally ground the panels over to the towers as that they're going to be heavy duty grounded. So uh, that's kind of where we're at with it right now. I'm going to finish these three and then we'll jump onto the other roof. All right, guys, so we're here on day two and we've got the first part of the solar array finished. We've got half of it done. This is the shed side. We've got all the panels up on the main house side. And uh, if you want to walk with me right here, I'll show you kind of what we got cooking right here. Is uh, got all our utilities out. Um, the main contractor is going to finish the veneer on the side of the house later and everything, and those will be covered over. But for right now, we're just going to cover this ditch line back up. Got a piece of PEX um, that's going to be for a little water line to go around the side for an RV uh, to hook up, and then they're going to have a 30 amp service. The main electrician's going to do that. Um, right here, you can see I got the utilities here. We're really, really, really trying to get this stuff as neat as possible nowadays. I'm really OCD about that. Um, and I've left plenty enough, you know, you, you want to leave 50% um, space and conduit for wire. And uh, we're, we're left that at 75%. Um, they also may want to run a data comm out here later. So there's room to fish tape that. And um, now down in the basement, I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so what we've got going on in here, guys, is this is the raw drops for the solar we're about to put up. We've got most of our cables secured in place. Um, this drop right here ran out of staples last night, but obviously it'll be secured up like so. Um, it's the raw drops are into it. Um, we're going to build our box later. This is the base pad for the batteries to sit on, so that kind of gives you an indication of how long this box is going to be. All right, guys, now at this point, you can see here we finished the second solar array on the back side of the customer's house. Uh, we've also got it down far enough that the prying eyes from the road won't be seeing that. Um, privacy is something that's paramount for us. We try to incorporate that not only in business practice, but also in building for you. Um, now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect the just short wire drop that's coming out. We're gonna loom that up. We're gonna loom the original ray that we just put up, you seen just a little while ago. And then at that point, we're going to run these wires you see on the ground below you. We're going to finish stubbing that up through the roof uh, for the turbine mounts. And then we're going to go in out of the rain and build a battery box. All right, guys. Now, what we're doing right now is we finished up our wire runs into the structure. We've got our wind drops here. I've just got that temporary nailed up for a minute until we get our um, dump load board up. And then the actual PV6 with the two charge controllers here. We're going to have our drops right here come down the battery bank. i got the base built, and I'm setting the batteries. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and get them wired in 48 volt. And then that way, once we get the lid and everything built here in a minute, all we got to do is literally just make the drops in, hook the cables, and that's finish line. All right, so today is the last day on the solar install. We're going to come back at a separate conjunction and finish up the wind. Uh, but we do have the disconnect in place for the wind. Um, the solar is about to be buttoned up, finished up right now. And then uh, at that conjuncture, what we're going to have done is the two inverters hooked in. Um, we do have our battery bank in place. As you can see right here, it's it's locked in, ready to rock and roll. Um, we do have four out interconnects between the banks so that just in case there needs to be a tandem between the magnums once the um, that's kicked in, uh, you know, it'll be able to offset that load. Um, also the RTR is going to go up here, the router right there in just a minute. We're going to mount that. Pro we're probably going to mount it right up here. That way all the controls is right here together and you got a nice feed, uh, well for the network cables to go down. But yeah, I mean, pretty much we're, we're almost the finish line with this so one. For this portion of the install we finished up, we've got the solar working. Um, right now it's just kind of hanging out because the batteries are charged. The magnums are off right now because the electrician um, is going to be finishing up some things with his end. And um, here's the battery bank one last time. Check that out. It's a custom built box. And um, the wind power will be back in a separate video in part two doing the final finish on the wind power. Um, so we're waiting on a few parts. But guys, make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com. And we always appreciate your business.